that was rather dramatic, wasn't it? Terrifying necromancers, deadly Draugr, and what on earth have you got in your head? Lydia, is that a skull? Did you just find a skull in the dungeon? Pick it up and put it on your face. Do you have any idea how unhygienic it's that is? Mind. In fact, I'm pretty sure I saw that on the head of one of those necromancers I killed. Are you telling me you were following me through that dungeon, scavenging skulls off the corpses of it necromancers I'd pleasure. killed? No, I'm sorry, I can't let you keep that. Not for one moment. That is revolting. Is revolting. I ask you. Nords of Skyrim, indeed. Some people. Anyway, back to solitude, I suppose. Falk Firebeard's waiting for us. Oh, hello. Just tidying up. Ah, hello. No, don't mind me if I can just uh, squeeze past. There you are. Thank you, Marvelous. Hello. This is outrageous. Ah, Am I uh, never mind. Or a uh, Falk Firebeard. Ah, hello. You've returned. Good. What did you find at Wolf Skull Cave? Lots of horrible things. Necromancers in particular trying to summon and bind Potama. Potama herself? Please tell me you stopped them. Oh, naturally, it wasn't too difficult for us. We sort of know what we're doing with the whole adventuring business, don't you know? So I interrupted their ritual and it's done. You've done a larger service to the realm than you could possibly know. A resurrected Potama. I shudder at the thought. As do I. Anyway, so now I've done that, I was just wondering... Good to see you. If you wouldn't mind letting me into the Pelagius Wing? Absolutely not. That wing has been sealed for hundreds of years. And for good reason. They say the ghost of Pelagius the Mad still haunts it. Right. Ghost or not, there are reminders of his dark rule that are best left buried away. Falk. You know I'll be careful. I, I went into the into the whole cave and I did all of that, handled the whole Potamia situation. You know I'll be absolutely fine with it. Go on, just give me the key and I'll sort it all out. I'll make an exception for you, but do not bring anything out when you leave. Too many dark deeds transpired in those halls. Marvelous! Thank you for being so understanding. Right then. Any time, friend. The Pelagius Wing. Shall we go, Lydia? Let's see if we can't find this chap's master. Well, this seems like a lovely, cheerful looking place. Gorgeous decor. Marvellous, very cheerful and optimistic, don't you think, Lydia? No, you've, uh, you've turned your back. No, nope, I'm afraid we can't leave yet. We need to find this gentleman's master. I'm sure he'll be around here somewhere. Hello? Hello? Anyone lost a peculiar man? Hello? Gosh, I feel rather strange, actually. Like I might be starting to go mad. Party, Pelly, my dear. What? Our Where am I? What goes right through me? What's going on? I have so many things to do. What is this place? So many this isn't the Pelagius Wing, and oh, I say, buffoons, heavens, that's a detractors. That's a tree. My, my headsman hasn't it's slept in three days. Moving. You are far too hard on yourself. Ooh. That dear, sweet, homicidal, Two insane gentlemen. Having what would the people tea party? do without you? Dance, sing, I say smile. Who? Who are you? Grow old? What are you? You are the best. Am I going mad? That's ever ruled. How? How can I be here? Like what? But he what? turned into a dragon how? god, and that's hard. Heavens! All right, get a grip, Lucian. Come on, come on, come on. Get a grip. Get a grip. Marvelous <sighs> butterflies, right. blood, a fox, a We are somewhere. Head. This is definitely real. Not a dream. However much it might yes, seem yes, like a dream. Said countless times Here for a mission? To find Come this on. chap's master. Well, so that's what if we're going to do, no matter how that, peculiar it seems. Hello, do you mind? Yes, yes, go. Leave me to my ceaseless responsibilities and burdens. Right, that seems normal and straightforward. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, hello. How rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. Uh, quite. Um, just before we say anything else, uh, don't suppose you could tell me 
Where we are? Inside the mind of Pelagius, silly. Right. Oh, uh, is it your first time? Uh, as a matter of fact, it, um, it rather is. I don't suppose you'd mind explaining who, who that gentleman was you were talking to? Pelagius the Third. Naturally. Now, surely even you know about Pelagius's decree. On his deathbed, oh, and this was inspired, he forbade death. That's right, death outlawed. Right. Ah, well, that couldn't be clearer. Um, I'm actually here to uh, deliver a message. Really? Yes, really. Oh, oh what kind of message? A song? Uh, no. A summons? Wait, no. Uh, I know. A death threat written on the back of an Argonian concubine. Uh, no, ah, uh, definitely not that. Well, spit it out, mortal. I haven't got an eternity. <laughs> actually, I do. Little joke. But seriously, what's the message? Uh, well, um, I was just coming to that. Uh, I don't suppose you could stop this this plate with the mammoth snout from vibrating like that, could you? It's it's most unnerving. Um, but anyway, I am, um, I, I actually think I might have um made a mistake coming here. Oh no 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 mistake at all. What you made was a choice. Granted, not a very wise choice, but these things happen. <laughs> oh, the folly of you. You know, you remind me of myself at a young age. All I cared about was riding narwhals and sleeping in honeycombs and drinking babies' tears. Word of advice. If you ride a narwhal, mind the pointy end. Ah, but there I go. Waxing poetic about me misspent youth. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, you're the mortal messenger. And I am? Honestly, have you any idea? Uh, um, well, um, uh, actually, uh, no, not, not especially. Wrong! Oh. Actually, you do, sort of. Do I? I am a part of you, little mortal. I'm a shadow in your subconscious. A blemish on your fragile little psyche. You know me. You just don't know it. Right. Shiagorath, Daedric Prince of Madness, <gasps> at your service. Oh, I say. Uh, Shiagorath, uh, the Daedric Prince of Madness, that's, uh, that's, uh, <clears throat> that's, that's who you are. Is it? <laughs> Oh, well, um, funny coincidence. Actually, I've just been, um, dealing with a number of encounters with gentlemen and ladies from your neck of the woods, as it were, from the Shivering Isles. I don't suppose you know old, uh, Thoron? We, uh, we had a spirited conversation a little while ago. Uh, oh, honestly, really, wouldn't you mind stopping that plate? No. Uh, well, uh, yes, uh, yeah, uh, so uh, we're, uh, in a way, I suppose we already sort of know of each other, right? Uh, uh, anyway, so does that mean you'll leave or not? Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. Ah, that's marvelous. right. I'm done. Holiday complete. Time to return to the humdrum day to day. Splendid. On one condition. Ah. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. Right. Um, what's the catch? Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated. Makes things infinitely more interesting. Right-ho. Care to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. Have any idea where you are? Where you truly are? I mean, you did already say... Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor. Pelagius the third. That's right. You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure. Sure. Or you could use the Wabachak. Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? The, uh... <clears throat> The Wabberjack. That's a, that's a real thing, is it? 
That's this. This is this is the wabberjack. The uh, the 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 wabber 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 dabber habber wabber flabber nabber wabber wabber quack quack knack tack. What? <clears throat> wabberjack. Right. Gosh, that was peculiar. Uh, sorry, sir. Don't mind me. Uh, right. So I've got to got to have a look around. This. This place, ace, mace, waste, dace, ace. Ah, oh, gosh. This, ah! Oh. Now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead. Pumpernickel. Pumpernickel. But the deepest, keenest hatred was for himself. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. Right. They're always carried out on the weakest part of his fragile self. Who, who's, who's fighting? The self-loathing enhances yeah. Pelagius' anger. Ah, but his confidence will shrink with every hit. You must bring yeah. the two into balance. Right. I suppose I can, um, I can try and do that with this, uh, this, uh, this quick stick yeah. flick mick. Oh, right. Um, I'll, I'll give it a go. Jeez! Oh, I see. What happened there? Did that work? Is it Here we go. fixed? I think you're bleeding. Uh, no. Uh, how about if I tried on this, uh, this little gentleman here? Ah, uh, uh. ah. Oh, Hawk up! Oh. Never should have come here. You're as good as dead. Oh my word! Who are these? Ah. Ah. Clear right. out, I guess. Yes. You seem to be having a small problem, or perhaps it's a big problem. Maybe if you shrunk the whole thing down a little first. Right. Uh, you? Here we go! Here we go! Ah! Yes, now they're the right size. And, uh, these chaps. Oh, I can go away. No? Can not? No? What if I just give you an old punch? No? Oh, I have no idea what's going on. Whoops. Cleared out, I guess. Oh, I'm so confused. There. Here we go. Time to end this little game. Is that is that it done? Yeah. Are we sorted here. Do I need to do more? Yeah. I'll just uh, I'll leave you two gentlemen to figure things out. Perhaps. You've dug no. Actually, maybe. We do this. No, no. We need to be both the same. Here we go. Same size? Is that possible? You're just it. getting bigger and smaller, and oh my word, this is incredibly stressful. Wonderfully ah. done. Pelagius finally. is finally ready to love him and continue eating everything. Right. Well, there we are then. That's that. Resolved. I think. I hope. Hello again. Yes, uh, this way then, I suppose. Huh. Huh. Right. You have headed down the path of dreams. Ah, my favourite. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. Oh, that's All shame. you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent. Right. Something to wake him up. Uh, perhaps this'll work? Hello? Ooh, yes? Here we go! Did we win? No. But I thought that might help. What if I, uh, did this? Ooh. Ah, hello. Ah, marvellous. Right. Um... This is a Ah, yeah. Much better. Much more like it. Ah! This stick is most useful. Most useful indeed. They seem rather mundane, really. And we've sorted them out. Yeah. Let's that. Ooh, hello. Well, now that's 
something to crow about. With Pelagius up and about, oh, good. you're moving right along. Marvelous. We'll both be home in no time. Yes, well, have a lovely yes. day, good sir. What next? Hello. Gosh, this place is most peculiar. I just think I need to uh, bamboozle the uh, Wibberflink. No, um, that's not what I meant at all. I, I need to, I need to wibberlig the fling dung. Oh, tear it Oh, good choice. Well, good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. <laughs> you might find it less so. What happened? You see, Pelagius' mother was, well, let us say, unique. Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a septum. Right. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? I never get that part right. Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned at a very early age that danger can come from anywhere, at any time. Delivered by anyone. Right. The objective here is simple, you simpleton. Use your wabaja to defeat the enemy while they do the same. Right. Uh, shall I, shall I have a go? Are these, uh, are these the enemy? Maybe? Does that work? No. no that's really not helping the situation, is it? Ooh. Ah. Storm versus versus ice. Does that does that work? Oh, I'm so confused. Oh, did it die? Oh. Ah! A few moments later. Fire versus storm. Is that what we want? Hmm. Your creature doesn't appear to be faring any better than before. This mean two months later. No. Yes. No. And then if we can turn you into one of those, no. No, we've still not quite got the hack, have we? Five billion years later. Or was it ten seconds? It is always very difficult to tell. What if I, uh, what if I hit him? <laughs> ah! I thought you'd never figure it out! Yes! With the threat gone, Pelagius is under the illusion that he's safe, which means you've helped him out. Sort of. And we're that much closer to home. Wonderful! Uh, I'll, uh, I'll be off then. Marvelous. Most peculiar. Not really sure what sort of lesson he's trying to uh, teach me, preach me, fleech me, weech me. These aren't even words. Oh, my mind. Oh, my cheese. Elephants and weasels and fish and trees and, and, and all sorts, really. Uh, uh, hello. I have a say. I'm not going to feel what you have to like. Or something. Right. Uh, I, 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 I think I've done it. I've, I've fixed Pelagius' mind. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like one does to a rash or an arrow in the face. Right. Ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you've actually succeeded and survived. I am first to honor my end of the bargain. Yes, if you, if you so, could. congratulations. You're free to go. Wonderful. I have been known to change my mind. So... Go, really. Uh, I, I will do that. Pelagius I'll be off. The What's the mad emperor of Tamriel? Like uh, Take this with so me. Oops, this How is the spell turn? Might be worth. Might be well, worth my while. I suppose it's back to the shivering isles. A trouble has can get into. Well, I'm gone. Simply boggles the mind. Well, uh, Let's make sure I'm not have a nice time. anything. Close. Check. Beard. Check. Luggage. Luggage! Now where did I leave my luggage? Can't see any. Ooh. Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to... 
Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you a shall we? As for you, a little mortal minion. Feel free to keep the Waba Jack. As a symbol of my I'll just take that out of it. Right. You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart. Ha <laughs> ha! Ta-ta! Uh, Ta-ta, Mr. Sheogorats. Uh... Whew. Gosh. Thank goodness for that. The real world, I think. Is this real? Lydia, are you real? You don't have any urge at all about cheese, do you? I've got your back. Marvelous, marvelous. I will protect you with my life. Good, yes, the normal, normal levels of bizarre, slightly uncomfortable... Protectiveness. Wonderful. I think here worth my while. No, no, right. Alright then. Let's try and find the way out. This way? Through here? Ah, yes, here's the door. Oof. Hello, sir. Oof. That was not an experience I especially wish to repeat. No, sir. -y. Oh, hello. A bit close. Gosh. It was completely surreal. In fact, I'd almost think it was a dream if I didn't have this peculiar thing. This Wabberjack. Holding it. Definitely messes with my mind. I mean, I think I've got a grip. I think I've got the words in order, and then before I know it, I say the wrong octopus. Oof. I think I'll, uh... Let's, let's head back home. Hello. Hello, friends. Yes, I've got this, which I rather think I ought to get rid of as soon as possible. Let's see if there's somewhere appropriate we can display it. I mean, it is a Daedric artifact, after all. Yes, I think the Daedric Hall might be an appropriate place to hang this. To bring its Daedric artifact, along with the, uh, the Sword of Jigalag and that hammer we picked up. Uh, somewhat arbitrarily, I think a good place to hang it might be over here. Yes, this works. There we are. Marvellous, and of course that magical barrier Orion installed all throughout this hall. Should do a good job of keeping its powers in check. Righto, and then if we ever need it, we can always come back here. Splendid, splendid work. Right. Now, I suppose, if we must keep the thing, over here might be a good place to display that skull Lydia found. Yes, there we are. What do you think? Look appropriate? Good, good. Marvellous stuff. Righto. Well, I suppose we ought to get some rest. After all that adventuring, it really takes it out of a chap. Ah, home. Oh, you know, Lydia, I'm awfully tired. Really rather tired. Yes, Who knows how long I've been up for? Now, I think it's time for me to turn in. If you want to just wait downstairs. I don't know if you ever sleep. I suppose house cars don't. I will turn in. In a long, long day. Rather a mad one, <laughs> if I may say so. You know, little joke for you about madness there. Right then. Good night. More adventuring in the morning. Baked potato changed my life. Baked potato showed me the way. If you want to know what is wrong from right, you must listen to what potatoes say. Wash your hands and stay indoors. Thank you, baked potato. Only visit grocery stores. Thank you, baked potato. And if you want to have a better day, you must listen to what the baked potato say. Keep your distance, make some space. Thank you, baked potato. Remember not to touch your face. Thank you, baked potato. And if you want to have a better day, you must listen to what the baked potato say. B a k e d p o t a t o b a potato. <laughs>